Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, you definitely want to stay tuned because today's episode is going to be about the meatiest and tastiest veg burger you've ever had. That's right, I'm going to be reviewing Beyond Meat Burgers. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss this one. So I school good humor. They say I'm out of my mind. Standing on the outside. But it's cooler, it's fresher. I like me here. There. First you want to start off by getting your meat. Um, it's best before January 20th, 2019. Um, but I know it says 516 in the corner, 516, 18. You can barbecue these, you can skillet these, whatever you want. So they come two in a pack. Um, it'd be nice if they came with four, but it's okay. So they come two in a pack and here's all the ingredients and information that you're gonna need on the back. So they're full of protein. Um, they're actually pretty fat. Looks like about 25 grams. It's got potassium. Um, you know, all the things that give it B12. This is what they look like before I actually take them. So they're in this vacuum sealed container. Once you pull it back, they've got a little bit of casing that will kind of keep them from dripping. Um, I'm assuming that's the beets that give them their red color. They look like burgers, guys. Look at these. You know, I'm zooming in so you can see just what the consistency looks like. Um, even like the patty form, very sticky like your typical burgers. Um, just peeling back you know that quote unquote raw look so yeah that's what it is let's go ahead and jump into putting them on the skillet not going to be using any oil in the skillet because this already comes made with oil i'm going to go ahead and slice up a couple of pieces of onion and throw it inside and use the oil from the burger to cook the onions like i said i'm not going to add any oil and this is three minutes on um, each side and as you can see it's definitely browning all right so as you can hear it's sizzling in the background this is about three minutes on each side there's still a little pink in the middle but obviously this is a not a raw meat so we don't have to worry about really the color in this case it's pretty much beets that's given it its red color uh, but it's three minutes on each side it's definitely browning to my liking and the smell is it really doesn't have a smell I mean it does there's you can smell the oil you can smell the onion and um, maybe some of the spices that they use but it's not a very strong uh, funny smell like I feel like most other veggie burgers have um, so I'm just flipping it so you can see what's on the other side as well I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stove off and I'm done at this point I love how everything looks the texture is nice not too firm like it's overcooked and I want to go ahead and open this up for you guys so you can see what the inside of it looks like it's still very thick and meaty to me uh, compared to other veggie burgers which I feel like are a little flatter and all right so here you go and you can kind of see I'm gonna zoom in a little bit look how thick that is that's very thick definitely well done in the middle as I would call a regular burger and I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see so it has that meaty texture to it and let's try it out all right fam so i want to do something different today i want to ask you guys if you can support me by checking out my instagram i'm going to put the link right here so go ahead and check me out i've got some mouth-watering recipes different dishes that I love to try, some inspirational quotes for you guys, obviously some hair to-dos and tutorials and things like that. So check me out. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so the next day I decided to use the other Beyond Meat burger since I only used one yesterday for the video. And I used the whole trilogy, which has a whole bunch of health seeds, chia, flax, hemp, and also the adobo seasoning. Put all that on my burger and I did a little twist on it as well. I used a jalapeno. So it gave it a nice, spicy, savory smell. Once again, it's sizzling like a typical burger. And I'm gonna do three to five minutes on each side. And once they are done on each side, I'm going to throw on my cheddar cheese. And that's pretty much it, everyone. I'm gonna put that on top. Uh, I've got my jalapeno obviously cooked well into the burger. And I'm gonna create a sandwich, gluten-free bread, and that's it, I'm done. So, 
This is my final results. I've got my ketchup, I've got my mustard. For my lettuce, I try to use leafy greens that are better than iceberg. So in this case, I use Swiss chard. I have my chips and I have my pickles and that's it guys, it's a wrap. All right, so as for the Beyond Meat packaging, love it, bright colors, definitely eye-catching. Peek through window is definitely a teaser into what the burgers look like and I love that markets are putting them in the same section as other meats and non-meats. As far as the burgers, I wish there was four. I'm sure that's room for improvement and it's probably a marketing thing, but you get two. It's in the same packaging as regular meat with the vacuum seal, has the same color, texture, and actually cooks very similar to meat. Cooks obviously a lot faster, does not have any crazy smells to it, and as far as the taste, it definitely mimics that of a burger. I can totally see you doing this on the grill for a cookout and having people fooled. So I hope this review, this video was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and drop your comment below or let me know what else you want to see on this channel. And today's question of the day is going to be what kind of burger or meatless burger have you tried? Do you make your own? Or is there one from the store that you really, really like? Go ahead and tell me below in the comment section. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know you need to, you know you want to. And I will catch you guys later. Don't forget, first love yourself. Stay healthy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.